हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट सिंड्रोमिक मैनेजमेंट ऑफ सेक्सुअली ट्रांसमिटेड इन्फेक्शन सो सिंड्रोमिक मैनेजमेंट ऑफ सेक्सुअली ट्रांसमिटेड इन्फेक्शन एज यू कैन सी इन दिस टेबल these are the narco kits which are available for treating sti patients and they have color coding as you can see this is the first kit which is gray in color and this first kit contains azithromycin 1 g and cefixim 400 mg this is the second kit which is green in color and it contains One tablet of secnetazole, two gram, and tablet of fluconazole, one fifty mg. This is the third kit, which is white in color, which contain benzathine penicillin, two point four million unit, and azithromycin, one gram. This is the fourth kit, which is blue in color, and you can see that it contains doxycycline and azithromycin. This is the fifth kit, which is red in color. and it contains a cyclovir sixth kit which is yellow in color and it contains cefixim metronidazole and doxycycline and this is the last kit that is the seventh kit which is black in color and it contains doxycycline and azithromycin so before studying and discussing the syndromic management of sti we should know that what is the color coding and the numbering of these kits now let us discuss that why we require syndromic management of sti see actually at the phc level that is peripheral health center level there is minimally trained professionals which are present so it is helpful for them to treat these sti patients second thing the refers to the higher centers are not required with sti syndromic management then expensive lab investigations are also not required and it allows the diagnosis and treatment on the first visit of the patient and these sti management have high cure rate so due to so many advantages we generally treat these patients with syndromic management of sti now let us discuss them individually so if patient of urethral discharge comes to us so if patient of urethral discharge come to us then this urethral discharge could be due to gonococcal infection or it can be due to chlamydial infection so to treat gonococcal we need to give cefixim and cefixim and for chlamydia we need to give azithromycin so both these drugs are present in the gray kit so we just give kit 1 or gray kit to the patient suffering from urethral discharge so this is the kit which is given to a patient suffering from urethral discharge so you can see how simple it becomes to treat these patients symptomatically that patient has come with urethral discharge you directly give green kit which treats both gonococcal and chlamydia similarly if a patient of vaginal discharge come to us so patient comes with vaginal discharge then we need to do per scap per speculum examination and when you examine per speculum then we can see that whether the patient is having cervicitis that is there is involvement of cervix or there is vaginal involvement so if patient is having a cervicitis then it can be due to neisseria gonorrhoeae or it can be due to chlamydia trachomatis so again for gonorrhea you need to give cefixim and for chlamydia azithromycin so you can give 
the gray kit which we have just now discussed that is kit one but if the patient is having vaginal discharge and you are suspecting vaginitis then it can be due to three reasons it can be due to candida it can be due to trichomoniasis or it can be due to bacterial vaginosis and gardenella is the common cause so you need to differentiate them and generally the candidal infection presents with white creamy discharge which is minimal the patient suffering from trichomoniasis present with green frothy and profuse discharge while patient suffering from bacterial vaginosis presents with foul smelling discharge so candidiasis can be treated with fluconazole and these two that is bacterial and trichomoniasis can be treated with secnetazole 2 gram so both these that is fluconazole and secnetazole are present in kit 2 as we have discussed which is green kit so if patient is having cervicitis you will give gray kit and if vaginitis then this green kit is given to the patient okay now it is very important to make the diagnosis of bacterial vaginosis because this is in fact the most common cause of vaginal discharge so for making the diagnosis of bacterial vaginosis you can follow m cell criteria so according to m cell criteria you need to look for four things one is thin homogeneous white adherent discharge second thing vaginal fluid pH of more than 4.5 then fishy amine order which you all know is commonly known as WIF test and fourth is cells more than 20 percent so if any of the three among these four so three among these four is present that is confirm your diagnosis of bacterial vaginosis now you might be wondering that what is clue cell so this is a clue cell where you can see that this is clue cell where in the center there is in the center there is epithelial cell which is surrounded by which is surrounded by stippled appearance which is due to the bacteria which is present so this is vaginal epithelial cell which is surrounded by this bacteria and this bacteria gives this stippled appearance and this is known as clue cell which is seen in a case of bacterial vaginosis second thing which you can do is a WIF test as I told you WIF test WIF test is a very simple test where we take a clean glass slide 
So in whip test, so this is whip test where we take a clean glass slide and we take the vaginal discharge and then we add KOH and on adding KOH there is fishy or amine order this is positive whiff test so these will help you in making the diagnosis of bacterial vaginosis now next thing which can come to you is a case of genital ulcer so if a case of genital ulcer comes to you then you need to look for vesicles so if vesicles are present that is fluid fluid lesions are present then it is a case of herpes and if it is a case of herpes then you need to give the red kit that is kit number of five and if these vesicles are absent then it could be due to syphilis or it can be due to chancroid so for syphilis so if it is a case of herpes you will simply give this red kit to the patient okay and if it is syphilis then you need to give benzathine penicillin and for chancroid you need to give azithromycin so both these are present in the white kit that is kit number three so you will give white kit to the patient but many a times the patients are allergic to penicillin so that's why you should always do a sensitivity testing so if patient is allergic to penicillin then you cannot use it so then we give doxycycline instead of penicillin and the azithromycin to treat chancroid and these two drugs are present in the blue kit so we can give blue kit to the patient that is kit number four so in such case we can simply give blue kit to the patient then if a patient comes with inguinal bubo that is lymphadenopathy then you need to look for if there is associated genital ulcers present so if they are present then you will suspect chancroid and if they are absent then this case might be due to lgv that is lymphogranuloma venerum so to treat chancroid you will give azithromycin and to treat lgv you will give doxycycline doxycycline is given 100 mgbd for 21 days here and this is one gram stat so these two are together present in black kit that is kit number seven so you can simply give this kit to the patient so you can see that how simple it becomes if you treat the patient with syndromic management so thank you very much today we have discussed about the syndromic management and the color coding of these narco kits which are very important for various pg entrance examination so don't forget to like my video and to subscribe my youtube channel thank you very much see you back soon